today we're going to be quickly taking a look at how to import your LUTs directly into Premiere Pro's color menu. The LUTs I'll be importing are the ones I personally use and they can be found through the link below if you want to check them out. So we are going to be importing straight into the creative section. This way we are able to adjust the intensity of the LUT, but the same process works if you want to import into the basic correction tab as well. First, we need to go find our LUTs we want to use and keep that screen open. Next, we need to find our Premiere Pro file location. On a Mac, you can use the finder to search for Adobe Premiere Pro, then navigate to the file location. If you're on a PC, you can click down here and search for Premiere Pro and right click on it, then select open file location. Then right click again and select file location a second time. This gives us all the files we need. And if you went through the file explorer, it's under program files, Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. In here, we need to find and select the Lumetri folder. Then select LUTs and you should see three different folders. The creative folder is linked directly into the creative section in the color tab inside Premiere Pro. Then the technical folder is linked to the basic correction. If you open the creative folder, you should see a bunch of different LUTs, which are the same ones if you were to open the creative tab and browse through the LUTs on Premiere Pro. I don't have any on mine as I move them all out into a separate folder because I never use them and it makes it much easier to find the LUTs you've personally added. So now pull open the window with the LUTs you want to add, select and drag them over to the creative folder and drop them in. It will pull up this box asking if you want to continue and click do this for all current items, then click continue. So now you'll have to close Premiere Pro and reopen it for this to take effect. Once you do that, you should be able to click on creative and then LUT and all the LUTs we just imported should be there. If you left all the default LUTs in, the new ones will be at the very bottom of the list, but this list does go by alphabetical order. So if you want to keep all the default ones in, you can rename the new LUTs with an A or a number at the beginning, just so they show up at the top of the list. So that's how to import your LUTs directly into Premiere Pro. And if you want more Premiere Pro tutorials, you can click here and I'll see you over there. Peace.